My name is Max Donovan, and I'm a paranormal investigator. I've been investigating Freddy's for over five years now, and I know... I know I'm close to finding out what happened. Mysterious disappearances, possible murders, no bodies, no nothing. I, 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 I need to know what happened. It could, it could be my breakthrough. It could solidify me as the man who solved Freddy's. Attached to this note is the key to Fredbear's. I cannot disclose my name, my origins, or how I found you. But I will meet you there. Signed PM. This is it. Where it all started.
Hello there, new night guard, and welcome to my establishment. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Henry. I'll give you the quick rundown on how the animatronics and the building systems you requested actually function. First up, you have your cameras up front. Activate them by pressing space on the keyboard in front of you. You can press S to exit back out. I took the liberty to go into some state-of-the-art tech for us here. And a screen that can detect your fingers' locations with invisible lasers. Pretty fancy stuff. Anyway, touch about on your buttons to switch cameras. Any room with a green triangle can be selected. Even the vents. Now you also have your alarm and air refresh buttons. For now, you'll only need the alarm. Pressing it will signal a bright, loud, and red alarm to ring in whatever room you have selected on the camera. You can ring the alarm near your office by using the left shift key. And now on to your animatronic buddies, courtesy of me, of course. <clears throat> Fred Bear is up first. I gave him the role of power management, basically. If he knows the lack of people, he will go into different rooms and try and find guests or staff members. And if he decides the place is completely empty, he'll shut off the power. Not something you want now, is it? Now. All you have to do is lead him to you. He'll go after any noise, so whenever he's taking a break to take in any sounds or signals, try ringing the alarms in nearby rooms, leading him towards you a couple of times. Once he's close enough, say, party room one, then ring the alarm near your office. That's a shift key, remember? Bonnie, however, is a bit of a different beast. He'll wander around looking for intruders. Normally, if you wear your guard uniform, he'll read a chip inside it and not register you as an intruder. However, you didn't exactly fit the last guard's uniform, so until you can tailor yourself a new one, just try to avoid any contact with him. But if he does manage to enter your office, try and stay completely still. One of his parameters for checking if someone's human is if it moves. Vasily, if you stay completely still, he probably won't register you as a human, and thus not as an intruder. All right. Hope you got all that, good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.
am I? Whose house is this?
good to, uh, see you're still sticking around. I presume nobody caused you trouble last night. Oh. Well, I'll, uh, I'll keep it brief as to not distract you from any of your important tasks. And actually, on that note, the Puppet Master, it seems there is a bug in his programming right now where the PM and AM in his show's time schedules are mixed. So he may or may not come out tonight. Just to keep him out, you have to give him what he wants. Attention. Looking at him via the cameras should slow down his path. Right, uh, keep yourself level head tonight, and I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow.
I'm Max Donovan, paranormal investigator. He used a gas to make you see those things. It was everywhere, even in the animatronics themselves. Uh, welcome back, Henry. Third night, eh? Holding on tight there. Oh, I mean, other people would be rather spooked by now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, during the day I noticed a slight leak in the tubing for Proto Spring Bonnie. Probably due to the rubber hardening by lack of usage. Ah, uh, if you ever decides to activate for one reason or another. Make sure he doesn't stand still in any given room for too long. But if that happens, then press the green air refresh button on your camera view. This will circulate the air in the room. If you fail to circulate the air, my improvised little toxicity meter will put the light on. If you get three lights, you might want to get out of there. Passing out is a possibility. Or don't. It's your choice as always. Stay sharp and good night. Uh, welcome back, Henry. Third night, eh? Holding on tight there. Oh, I mean, other people would be rather spooked by now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, during the day I noticed a slight leak in the tubing for Proto Spring Bonnie. Probably due to the rubber hardening by lack of usage. Ah, uh, if you ever decides to activate for one reason or another. Make sure he doesn't stand still in any given room for too long. But if that happens, then press the green air refresh button on your camera view. This will circulate the air in the room. If you fail to circulate the air, my improvised little toxicity meter will take the light on. 
If you get three lights, you might want to get out of there. Passing out is a possibility. Or don't. It's your choice as always. Stay sharp and good night.
We both know you and I don't exactly see eye to eye and that you've shut down a lot of my work. Now, if I weren't the bigger man here, I'd say try to take revenge and such, but that's just child's play. However, I will state that I'm not fixing the animatronic errors at night because of how you sometimes act towards me. See it as a form of protest, if you will. Now, we will talk about this tomorrow morning because Proto Spring Freddy seems to be live right now. He'll crawl into the ventilation system at first. If he's heading towards you, he'll probably be in the overhead vent. I know the shot of that door was spent, but the latch is not strong enough to stop him if he drops himself on it. So here is my pitch. Wait till he's close to the vent and close the latch. So if he's got enough pressure on it, he will just crawl his way back out. But don't think you're unclear about that. He's smarter than you think. He'll start making his way to your office through the main hallway, and when he reaches you, I'd recommend you don't use the cameras until he's gone. Correct. That should be everything. I will see you in the morning. Okay?
these weird ghostly animatronics were killing patients. That Fredbear plus yelled someone important. He wanted all of this. He killed them. Now he's missing. up this morning. I don't know whether that's if you're a coward or if you're dead. I'm gonna make sure it's that last one. This is all going to be over soon. I'll make a deal with you. I think the alarms will knock you out of any weird state you get into. If you can survive the rest of the effects, then, well, maybe I'll let you win.